Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Just Blast here. I know I'm a day late, man, but you know what? It's better late than never, you know what I'm saying? I uh, got the SA2 finale to Hero Story out yesterday. You know, a lot of things going on. I graduate tomorrow. Actually, finally, I'm getting out of high school. So, you know, I've been very busy, but I still wanted to bring this video to you guys, get my thoughts out and everything. I don't know if you can tell just from looking at me, but I kind of, like, just woke up, basically. So, um, yeah, we're just going to hop straight into this. Um, so, yeah, today we got the Sonic Frontiers combat gameplay. I almost said Sonic Forces. Um, yeah, dude, the way they're rolling out, like, the showcase of this game is just so weird, man. Like, we're just getting small little sh sections, but, uh, alright. Anyways, uh, let's check it out. IGN First continues on with yet another look at Sonic Frontiers gameplay, this time focusing on combat. Sonic is up against an all new set of baddies, some of which are among the most massive bosses we've yeah, ever seen. Yeah, I've seen on Twitter game. people talking Generally, about that Sonic's first scene that his spines look kind sure of longer. All June we've got which, a full it is a little, a little, little bit weird. Some parts his spines do look longer, but now, apparently it's just the because of the camera. I don't know. They should just make his spines longer, though, like, honestly. Right, so first, we got this ball sack boss, or enemy. Immediately, like, um, what you already noticed with the animations is, like, when he's doing air attacks, it's just his ground animations, but he's in the air. Like, he, li there's literally a frame of him standing on air. And the thing with this, too, is, like, I don't think it even really looks terrible. I think it's just like they need to fix the animation. That move though looks a little weird. It's a little jank how he kind of like just teleports off and then just like goes like zigzagging. And obviously that tornado movie. Like really a lot of what I'm just seeing with this is just like it looks like they have a good structure but they need to fix the animation. Kind of reminds me of Shadow, um, the way Shadow attacks in 06, so you can, you know, like, just mash the button, do, like, a combo. This move is cool. I like that move. That move is pretty sick. Watching the gameplay, too, it really makes me hope that there actually is a, a skill tree in this game. So I can, like, unlock these attacks and stuff like that. You know, level progression. Spin cycle seems pretty interesting the way it's utilized. Yeah, basically this enemy you gotta spin cycle to get rid of its shield. You try and attack with the shield you get bounced back. I feel like they're definitely gonna have show um, health bars in this game. That's what it really seems like with this type of gameplay. I feel like when, once we see the HUD, there's definitely gonna be health bars for the enemies. <sighs> yeah, I really, I really do hope there's a skill tree. You can also see too, kind of like with the effect when he picks up those orbs, you can tell that it, it kind of like, let me go back a little bit. It kind of does like a little animation as if it was filling up a meter on the HUD. As you can see right here, when he picks up the orbs, it goes, it does like, it looks like it's going towards like a HUD area right here. Maybe like a XP bar or something. We got another one of these shield enemies again. You try and attack it. No matter what attack you do, it doesn't seem to work. So you have to spin cycle. Get rid of the shield. See, like the combat, it doesn't even look bad. Like, it looks pretty decent. Also, that that was pretty sick too. Apparently, the, you can do like a very fast version of the spin cycle. Like right here, it looks like he almost just taps a button and instantly just circles around him. That looks really cool. But I, I I hope the spin cycle isn't fully automatic though. I hope you can't control the way you move around with it. It does seem like it seems like there's kind of two versions, like one where you can control it and one where it just does a really quick like circle around. It's just like automatic. This game is beautiful though. I mean, just like look at the water, man. 
Like, this scenery right here looks amazing. We have these two enemies here. And one thing I noticed and I seen people talking about on Twitter is that they think that this part is kind of hinting to infinite coming back. Because as as you can see right here, when the enemies spawn in, there's kind of like the red cube effect. Kind of like how infinite has with the red cubes. Which I don't know. I think it's I mean, he kind of has the glitchy effect of infinite too, honestly. I don't know. I feel like it just looks similar, but I, I don't think they're going to bring infinite back. I feel like they wouldn't want to. Because honestly, like, they really don't show any love towards infinite at all. Which is kind of sad, because I do like his design. But yeah, no, I don't, I don't think infinite would come back. So it seems like those enemies are kind of just like the easy like grunts that you just kill really quickly. And then we have one of the little like titan bosses. So he puts his like leg down and you can use these boost things to go up it. Yeah, I mean, pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. And he gets shot off. I do think this game part of gameplay looks pretty fun. Kind of like it. Also, some parts of it look a little bit jank. Like that part when he kind of just got sent off of the arm, but... So then you can attack the feet also, I think. Kind of like set it off balance. So I guess you have multiple choices to go about it. Either you attack the feet or you go up the arms. Is this the same enemy still? I think it is. Yeah, it is the same enemy. So that's pretty cool. Also, by the way, anybody complaining about this seagull, bro? Okay. Where is it? This seagull right here? Saying, oh, the seagull's T posing. Bro, are you dumb? Do you not know how a seagull flies? They don't flap their wings the whole time. They glide. Like, they, they do a flap and then they glide. That's how seagulls work. They're not fucking T posing. You're just dumb. Like, you come on, man. Complaining about little things that happen in real life. So now it looks like the and the Titan gets kind of stronger after you break parts of it. It gets a little laser field protecting its weak points. It's kind of weird though how every time when you break one, you get sent off, like launched off and kind of like damage boosted or whatever. I don't know if that, I used the right term there, but. And you gotta get the last one. Laser field. Okay, so the laser field grows and shrinks. It doesn't really seem to do much good job protecting it, though. It seems like it's still very easy to attack. And that's the end of the Titan Mark. Um, so yeah, man. My overall thoughts with this, um. I think. Okay. I think the combat gameplay looks it looks okay like it looks like it could be fun it definitely looks like it's more complex and more interesting than you know normal sonic you just hit the enemy once and they're dead um and i think if it has a i think i really hope it has a skill tree so you can get like a sense of progression throughout the game um I think ma the main thing really with the combat is just they need to fix the animations. I think the animations are really what's holding it back. And if they fix the animations and stuff, then I think we will have a good combat system. Which I don't even know if we can really be confident in them fixing the animations. Because, I mean, Sonic, like, we got a couple more months until the game comes out. And Sonic Team doesn't really ever 
fix these types of things before the game is like a, a couple months out so i don't know man but I, i'm keeping my fingers crossed hoping for the best you know um like i really want this game to be good because open world sonic seems so cool to me i really want this game to be good praying hoping for the best i think our next gameplay showcase is going to be on tuesday so i'll see you guys then when uh we get some more gameplay um yeah i think it's gonna be it for now appreciate y'all for watching i gotta go i got some things to do i gotta get ready for tomorrow man i'm gonna be graduating tomorrow so wish me luck and i'll catch you on the next one